Hey, this is Michael Pena with Teens Want to Know, and today we're here at Race for the Rescues. Oh, so can you see by the dawn's early light? On your mark, get set, go! And with that, the rescue trains race for the rescues event at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California kicked off to the delight of several thousand runners, walkers, and furry friends. The Rescue Train is a nonprofit organization dedicated to eliminating animal suffering through hands-on rescue work, education, awareness, dedication to spaying and neutering, and the support of other animal welfare organizations. Plenty of sponsors showed up to lend their support and provide some giveaways to the thousands of men, women, and children who showed up to save the lives of animals everywhere by spreading awareness of rescue groups and raising money. There were also plenty of celebrity guests who shared their advice for you teens wanting to become pet owners. Let's see what they had to say. Hey, we're here with Jane Lynch. Hey. So what are you most excited for about today's event? Well, that a lot of dogs will get adopted and a lot of cats, maybe some bunnies and even some horses and they'll find great homes and there'll be a lot of people here today who are gonna bring home a new bundle of joy. That'll make me really happy. So now, why are organizations like Rescue Train important? Well, you know, we have a, the, our little dogs and our little cats are our responsibility to take care of them. And, um, you know, uh, these are selfless people who do it for little to no money. In fact, I would go so far as to say they do it for no money. Yeah. And do it at great cost, uh, emotional and uh, financial to themselves. So um, I think it's important that we all show up at these things and we support these things and we give back to the people who are so selfless that are saving these animals. And uh, a lot of euthanized animals are abandoned pets. Yes. What what message do you want to give to our teen audience about adopting a pet? Oh, if you adopt a pet, just know it's, it will enrich your life like nothing else. But also it is a responsibility. And you do need to take care of your animal. You, you have to uh, think about your animal when you're out having yeah. fun. No, you have to come home, let them out. You have to keep up their vaccinations. You you know, you have to take them out and exercise them. But you'll love them so much it, that it's just a joy to do. Now, what do you have going up next? Um, well, I'm doing Glee right now. I have two movies that are out. One is called uh, Adult Children of Divorce. Yeah. And it's it's funny, um, and one is called Afternoon Delight, and it is funny, and, um, and that's about it. Just having a lot of fun coming, coming to a bunch of da uh, cat and dog organization things. Now it's time for our time machine question. Okay. If you could travel back in time yeah. and give one piece of advice to your teen self, oh, what would it be? That is such a brilliant, brilliant question. I would tell my teen self to relax and not mm. worry so much, and that everything will take care of itself. And what feels like a really big deal right now, like maybe somebody shined you, maybe somebody bullied you said something bad about you hang in there and know it gets better what advice could you give to teens about adopting a pet uh, you know be prepared uh, you know take it very seriously you know we've rescued three of our own and we actually want to have a rescue as well but um, yeah I mean be involved do the volunteer work and if you do plan on adopting uh, you know be prepared and you know educate yourself I'm obsessed with dogs this is like dangerous people are gonna be putting out like restraining orders against me because I'm petting their dogs too much so many cute dogs so many cute dogs I love it this is my happy place <laughs> so tell us why are organizations like rescue train important they're so important because I think they're doing multiple things to actually help the rescue um, you know industry here in this town I think that they're not just doing dog rescue but they're coming up with programs that are innovative like this for example. I mean, this is pretty innovative and I know they have some other things going on um, where they're actually trying not to just rescue the animals but solve the problem yeah. at the same time, which is really important because we do have a problem in this city and all over the country with dogs not being spayed, not being neutered, um, with kill shelters. I mean, it's just, it's a problem that needs solutions, not just band-aids. Hey, we're here with singer Tamara Malek. So what are you most excited for about today's event? Um, I'm really excited to see all the dogs. I, I love them so much. <laughs> um, I mean, it's really important because, you know, I'm a huge huge animal lover and so you know I really care about dogs and I have one of my own and so it's really important to save them and help the homeless dogs. Tell us a little bit about your music. Um, well, I'm a recording artist and I sing pop music and I have a new single called Karma's Not Pretty which is coming out this month and the video is out on Vivo. I love dogs. I'm a huge dog lover and uh, I got my dog through the rescue train and race, race for the rescues. Uh, so uh, I, I can't say enough about this event. It's amazing. And I'm afraid I'm going to come home with a bunch of dogs. So that's, <laughs> it's good and bad. What message do you want to give to our teen audience about adopting a pet? Always adopt from a rescue organization. 
You know, I've had rescue dogs for my adult life, and yeah. rescue dogs are the best dogs, and it has to be, uh, it has to come from a compassion, an area of compassion, and this is an area of compassion. We know these dogs are going to be well cared for. We can't take a dog home today. We swore to each other that we yes, wouldn't be taking yes. a dog home today, but it's important to have a rescue, so that's why I support events like this. Yeah. I'm, I, well, I'm on a show, Dog with a Blog, with this uh, gentleman. He's coming up right here. Come, come here and show us your naked chest. Come here and show us your naked chest. I happen, I, happen to know for, I happen to know for a fact that this woman hates all animals. She 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 will step over fictional. a goldfish to get to a meal for herself. That is fictional. I love our she boy does. on set. I love our, who's a rescue dog and a fantastic dog. Plays oh, wow. Mick plays Stan. Um, and I'm an adoptive mom. I'm a little baby girl. So I'm, I'm a, look at you. I'm an adoptive mom. I'm going to carb load. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good Iron Man you. over there needs to needs to yeah. stuff some carbs. He's ripped. Yeah, come he back. is. Yeah, he loves to take off his shirt. He tries to do that all the time on the air. That yeah. Disney Does he know up. he can put his shirt on now? The race Rick, is over. You can dress. You can put your you clothes dress. on now. If you're not ready to do it 24-7, if you're not ready to feed and care and love and walk and clean up and do all of that, please do not adopt a, a pet. It's responsibility. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. Miss Pete, oh, that's my man. Welcome to Race for the Rescue. Hey, we're an actress and dog trainer, Lauren Lativo. How are you doing? Hi, Michael. I'm fantastic. I'm so happy to be here. So what are you most excited for at today's event? Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited to see all of my L.A. dog friends, all of the volunteers who are not just here supporting today, but throughout the year are fostering, are raising money and awareness for animal causes. And I just love the whole animal community getting together. I want to talk to our teen audience about how important adoption is, but also how important it is to spend time training exercising and for socializing sure. your dog because so many of the animals that, en that end up in shelters are there for silly reasons for behavioral issues because they're too excited they potty in the house all things that are so easy to work on yeah. you don't need to pay for an expensive dog trainer all of the information is out there online if you just google positive reinforcement dog training so I just want people to spend more time with their animals if you really love animals there's a lot of other ways that you can get involved and help animals without necessarily having to bring one home so you can volunteer to walk dogs, uh, to spend time with them, learn some training tricks, uh, and, and help some of these dogs get socialized. You know, these are problems that all these shelters have where they need hands on these dogs, especially if they have a lot of them. Yeah. Those dogs need a lot of attention and time. And so as a teen, you can go and volunteer there, uh, volunteer at those places. It's great for your resume. There's a lot of things you can do to get involved and kind of scratch that itch of spending time with pets without necessarily taking one home with it you don't need. We are a Los Angeles-based 501c3, and our mission is to uh, change the perception of pit bulls. Yeah. Well, on that note, what misconception about pit bulls would you most like to clear? Well, I think that there's a misconception that pit bulls are a different kind of a dog, that they're a special dog that needs a yeah. special home and a special owner and a special set of rules. and. And they're really just a dog. They're like a Chihuahua or a Labrador Retriever or a Golden. You know, they're just a kind of a dog and they thrive with structure mm -hmm. and management and they're all individuals and they have different temperaments and different likes and different dislikes. So I think that's really the biggest thing is just getting people to look at them as just another breed of dog. Adopting a pet is so easy. Uh, and actually rescuers will bend over backwards if you're a responsible person mm -hmm. and a good owner. And what we like to do, what a lot of people don't know is we're all about helping you keep the pet that you already own or making it easy for you to get one and to keep it. Yeah. So if you're responsible and you come to a rescuer and you say volunteer or whatever, guess what? They're going to let you foster, which is great for teens because you save an animal and then when you go to college or whatever, the animal goes into a good home. Yeah. Right? That's wonderful. And you can do that all day long. And when you foster, uh, responsible rescue pays for everything. Everything. We're going to pay for vet care, food, you name it, and we're going to stand behind you. We've been in existence for two years. We rescue horses primarily from auctions before they head to Mexico to be sold for slaughter. Oh, wow. So it's a lot of horses in very bad condition, um, often very skinny, very sick, a lot of medical needs, and we get them out of there and we get them better and we find them new homes. With horses, they take a lot of space, so you need to make sure that you have enough space for them and you have to have a lot of experience. So, you know, the best thing is to find a place where you have a trainer and you can learn how to take care of them. And, um, and unfortunately, you need a lot of money.
They're not cheap. Yeah. They're not cheap like a dog. Hey there, it's Jane Lynch, and you're watching Teens Want to Know. Hey, this is Miley Flanagan, and you're watching Teens Want to Know. I'm Anne Marie Johnson. I'm Beth Little Ford, and, and you're, you're watching, watching Teens Want to Know. Woo!